Hello everyone and welcome back to Cobain History. As an addition to last week's episode on the medieval fueler, today we'll be looking at the medieval charcoal burner. A charcoal burner is someone who gathers wood and burns it into charcoal, which burns hotter than plain wood. It is one of the oldest human professions. Since the Iron Age, high temperatures had been needed in the process of smelting iron and similar crafts. Charcoal was manufactured in charcoal piles or kilns. Both of these work in the same way, only the piles were temporary, whereas a kiln could be used repeatedly to create charcoal. A pile of wood was carefully arranged in a conical shape with a fire shaft in the middle. The pile was then covered by an airside layer of turf and or other materials such as grass, moss and earth. The fire shaft was made using brushwood and wood chips, so the smoke could escape through it. Then the coal burner would ignite the wood through the fire shaft and the carbonization process that turns the wood into charcoal began when the temperature inside reached between 300 and 350 degrees Celsius. Then there was a lot of waiting for the charcoal burner, because this process usually took between 6 to 8 days depending on the size of the pile or kiln. For larger kilns it could even take weeks for the process to be complete. During this time the charcoal burner had to control the drought and temperature inside the pile. He did this by piercing small holes through the pile and resealing them afterwards. He had to be careful because if he did this too little or too much, the pile could either go out or go up in flames. He could assess the state of the process by looking at the smoke coming from the pile. If it was thick and grey, there was still wood in there. A thin white smoke, on the other hand, is a sign of good carbonization. This smoke is also sometimes called blue smoke, due to its bluish hue. During the Middle Ages, charcoal burners were often ostracized. Their profession was considered dishonorable, and they were frequently accused of evil practices. This was probably in part due to the secluded lifestyle that was forced upon them through their jobs. As the continuing requirement to keep the kiln or pile at the right temperature at all times and in all weathers meant that the job must have been tiring, lonely and at times also dangerous. Today this profession has almost completely disappeared, being handed over to machines that can create charcoal now. But we can still see remnants of the once prominent profession in the German language where the saying Kula Klauben means to have blind faith in something. Thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did you can leave a like or let me know your thoughts in the comments below. On screen now you can also find a link to my Medieval Professions playlist where you'll find more videos like this one. Or if you're interested in history as a whole you can subscribe to my channel as well.